Hello there. Well, I just wanted to talk to you today about Alex Belfield. Now, he seems to have toned down his videos since his two-week ban for being vile and vulgar. And uh, the very fact that he's now gone and hidden behind a paywall will kind of indicate that he hasn't learnt his lesson. Not only has he been sacked from every radio station, I understand, uh, he's now been sacked from Vimo, a internet service provider. Now, I also, he's had his two-week ban as well, which would kind of indicate, really, that society doesn't want people like Alex Balefield anymore. Of course, this is only my opinion. Um, and also, the other thing I wanted to say is about Alex Balefield's uh, obsession with the BBC. Defund the BBC, he says, while showing you pictures of live TV from his living room. So he says don't have a BBC TV license, yet he has one himself. He must have a license because he can't watch live TV without a TV license. My opinion again, Alex Balefield. Do as I say, don't do as I do, do as I tell you. Defund the BBC, he says, whilst watching television and showing his viewers how nasty the BBC are. Yes, I agree with him that the BBC should be defunded, but you can't watch live TV if you haven't got a TV license. Alex Balfield says, defund the BBC. Don't have a TV license. While showing his viewers pictures of live TV. Which will kind of indicate that he's got a TV license if he hasn't got a TV licence, then he's committing another crime. But, in true Alex Balefield fashion, it's a case of, don't do what I do, do as I tell you. Now he says one thing and does another thing himself, like the TV licence. And, he hasn't really learnt his lesson because the other day there was a leaked video of one of his phone-ins where he was saying, suggesting that uh, Ukrainian refugees went to his house, but only female refugees were, were to be taken in, uh, a mother and daughters who had assets. And he was going to charge them £350 a day so that he could shag them. Right. Whether that was a joke or not, I, it doesn't, it's not funny with the ongoing scenarios in Ukraine and Russia at the moment. I don't know what the true story is because I don't really know. I've been here away at sea for most of it, 